All right, today's video is going to be the unboxing of Caleb's new race seat. Cool. Yeah, so we're gonna unbox it, Caleb's gonna unbox it, and then we're gonna put it inside this rig here. So, pretty excited. Oh, that's cool. So that, that is gonna be holding your head in place. It's actually upside down right now. That's cool. Well, probably on the on the What's seat. Like yeah, those are big stickers, I think. Um, nice. Like no, they're gonna go on these these metal pieces, Kill. So that they're oh. they're soft. Look here. Set that one down, then I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Grab one of those little pieces. Uh, no, the, the bigger pieces. I'm sorry. They're gonna go on the metal, buddy, not up to the metal. This goes like... Try the other side. That, that. There you go, see? That way it's soft. It we'll probably trim it to fit. Well, we'll like that. Nice. We'll trim it to fit. <laughs> now what's this? This is the pad. Like the actual pad. Nice. Cool. And then one other piece down there, the back, and go like this. It'll mount into wow. here. Mm -hmm. And there's some bolts there, and then that other piece goes up on top of it. Cool. That's a sh that's a real race seat right there, buddy. Okay, so we elected to go with the uh, Kirky. Um, seems like a pretty good unit. A couple of the guys were over there. Um, they were running these guys, so. I don't really know much about them, so I just stuck with what everybody else had. This 12 right there on the back and in there, that just means that the seat, the width from here to there is a, a 12 inch butt. Um, so basically they come in three major pieces. So this is where you'll sit. There's some padding that can go in there and then uh, covering. This is the back support. Uh, this guy will come from basically the small of your back up to your shoulders. And then this is the head support. Um, then it limits the movement of the head here. Lots of adjustments on these guys. I actually just did a little bit of a test fit for it because I thought maybe I can video actually uh, assembling it, but I really don't know how I'm gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble the three of these guys and then I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. All right, so here's the seat assembled, the three pieces, the bottom, the middle, and then the top. Um, the first part that you do is actually the bottom. Um, you attach the bottom rather to the to the middle with these five um, Allen heads. And then on the other side, he's got a nylon lock. That wasn't so bad. Up here at the top though, when you're when you're attaching the this head part to the base, that was a little hard. Um, a lot of friction where these two guys meet. So what I ended up doing was put a little bit of dish soap on that and then adjusted it. Uh, that wasn't so bad. Um, to get into here, that was a little difficult. Um, use this magnetic screwdriver to get the, uh, the, the nut on it there. They give you a couple of different adjustments. Um, we're gonna be using a Hans device. I don't know how that impacts uh, the head. So right now I've got this guy set on the holes to the back. This can be slid up um, to right here. That would make it a lot easier to, uh, to put the bolts on because they have a hole right here to get to that. Uh, but for whatever reason, I kind of feel like uh, with the Hans device and whatnot, I wanted to have it set back for now. So certainly after we get this in and get the device and all that kind of stuff, we can adjust it from there. But um, next up, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll put all the foam and whatnot in. Okay, so the kit comes with all these different pieces of foam that will go into the seat. The first one is optional. You don't have to use this. Um, it's just a thick piece of gray foam here. It goes on to the bottom. We're gonna use this. And the, uh, the reason we're going to use that is just to, uh, to lift them up a little bit higher in the seat. Um, with our test fitting, it just kind of felt like it was going to uh, be a little bit better. And then these guys, uh, one on each side, We'll come in, 
leaves you a hole down there for your uh, for your harness. And then on each side, up by your rib cage, it comes with these things. Okay, now this is way too big right here. And the reason for that is that this is adjustable, the back. Um, there's five different settings. We've got it down to uh, on number four, so there's one lower. So that will require us to cut this. Okay, but one will go on each side here. And then, uh, then these guys will go here and then here. So I'll go ahead and get all that fit up onto it and then uh, we'll show you what it looks like with the skins. All right, so here's the finished product. Uh, they give you a couple different pieces here. You get the, the seat part and then the back and then these two wings. Um, all of those, um, or the, the bottom and the back, they snap into place, bottom here and here and then on both sides and then the uh, the back will be here, here, and then on both sides as well. Uh, pretty cool unit, uh, I'm excited about it. Uh, the fun part now is getting it in the rig. Um, these are a universal seat. Uh, in most applications, I would imagine you're gonna need to do a uh, uh, some sort of a, a, uh, a mount uh, to put these on. Luckily, the previous owner of ours uh, made these. So he basically, he took the stock seat rails welded this plate onto it and then put an angle here uh, looks like that's going to fit on there just about perfect so i'm going to go ahead and test fit that and uh make any any adjustments that i need to and then we'll go ahead and put it in the rig all right we got the seat into the uh to the rzr came out pretty good we're happy with it lots of different adjustments and things that we can do to it if we're not happy with it after he drives it for a little while Really happy with this seat, glad we chose to go with them. And uh, if you're looking to, to put a seat like this into your RZR, we hope that this video helped you. Thanks and have a great day.